I remember every Sunday that Uncle Thomas would visit. He came for my mother's dinner of spaghetti and meat sauce. And it was amazing that mom could fit in that small dining room table, me, my four brothers, my two sisters, her mother and father, un Uncle Thomas. Dad was always working. And the dining room was actually the girls' bedroom at night. <laughs> well, after dinner, Uncle Thomas would pat his belly, burp a few times, make a beeline for the couch. And I'd serve him coffee, Greek butter cookies, and he'd take a nap. And you, you ever notice how elderly people sit down so heavily and awkwardly? And I think that maybe this is finally the day that he'll smash his bald head against the back wall. <laughs> well, one Sunday, he was taking his nap with his head to his chin. And I noticed that he had hairs growing out of the back of his large ears. And I said, oh, remember, I'm a little boy. I said, oh, this will never happen to me. <laughs> as soon as that silent vow was given, I thought I heard an eerie, soft voice coming from someplace very far away. Now, Uncle Thomas passed away. We buried him, and we went to a restaurant. And it was amazing. I was there with my four brothers, my two sisters, mom, my mother and father. Dad took the day off. What was amazing was this was the first time I ate a meal with the entire family, and the plates all matched. <laughs> you know, any time I think of Uncle Thomas, that strange laughter seems to grow in strength. I think I just heard it. Did anybody else hear it? Amazing. <laughs> you know, old man time sure has a wicked sense of humor. <laughs>